Okay, just a quick video to talk about how to create your own custom error pages with Apache. So if you have an HT access file, um, as some of my other recent videos have been talking about, um, we know how to control directory browsing, how to control cores, how to set passwords on things. And then um, setting error documents is very, very simple. All we have to do is add one single line to the HT access file and it starts with error document, then the HTTP status code, and then the redirect. What this does is if within this directory structure, so here I am, I've got the folder called Apache, that's where my HT access file is. Anywhere inside this directory structure, any more subfolders, anywhere inside there, if a 401 error happens, there will be a redirect back to from localhost slash apache errors 401.html or for a 404 error we get this so if i were to um, open up a new tab here and let's say i go into errors slash 401.html there we go this is the page for a 401 error. So it's just very basic HTML, a little bit of CSS. And here's one for a 404 error. So we want these to appear automatically if somebody enters a URL that doesn't exist or one that they don't have permissions for. So let's turn on the authorization. So we have, actually, before we do that, let's just test the 401, or the 404 error, rather. So if I click on sample.html, that works. If I go to some page that doesn't exist, automatic redirect to the 404 error. I just have to make sure that this path works from the root folder, so right from localhost on. So that's the 404 error working. Let's go back to the sample.html file and we'll come in here and let's re-enable our passwords. There we are, save that, refresh. Okay, so it's asking me now for the username and password. We have it set up that Bob is the only user who's allowed to access anything inside this folder. I'm going to cancel that. Okay, so we got a 401 error, but it didn't do our redirect. Oh, of course, down here at the bottom it tells us why. So. There's a 401 error happening, and then what happens is we're redirecting here for a 401 error again, but <laughs> the 401 error file is inside the same folder. So the page over here, sample.html, asked for permission. We were denied. We had the wrong password. We hit cancel. So this said, let's redirect to this page over here. And then this page said, you know what? you don't have permission to view this page simply because in this example I wanted to keep everything together and I put the errors here so this one doesn't have um, <laughs> permission to be viewed if I took this folder and I moved it outside of here put it in another location so someplace outside of Apache then this would have worked for the redirect but the 404 will still work here so just once again to show that it does work. Oh, yeah, we got the uh, permission error. Let's turn that off. Save that. Refresh. There we go. The 404 error happens. And if the 401 were located outside of this folder, which is where the HT access file is, then this would have been displayed as well. But that's it. That's all there is to. Um, displaying custom error pages. So I will, um, I'll make a copy of these, put the links as to the code gists for them for you. And I will also make a code gist for this latest version of the HT access file. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.